So often when we talk about people who need housing, your mind might go to sort of the stereotypical homeless person living on the streets. But the reality is that people who need housing are as diverse as those who are housed. So here to help express that today are some of your community members talking about their own affordable housing challenges. I'm the new executive director of the Sedona Historical Society. I have really loved getting to know the community and working here. And now I would really look forward to the opportunity to call this place home. I was lucky enough to be able to move back in with my parents after I received a notice that my rent had been increased 52%. I still had a 40 minute commute, so it is ideal for me to live where I work just so I can walk and be closer. If there were more affordable housing opportunities in Sedona, I would love to live in Sedona. Affordable housing has caused a lot of issues for the Sedona Fire District and our attempts at recruitment and retention. Uh, we currently have two employees that are, are on month-to-month -month leases and, and are housing insecure at this time. Additionally, we've had folks from out of state or out of town uh, hired and then turned down the job because they could not find housing in this community. I'm a 25-year resident and business owner in Sedona, Arizona, and I am living in my van in the desert. I would like to see the essential workers in Sedona have housing because they are what make this town uh, exist. My 22 year old son has moved back in with my husband and me. He's looking for a job as a line cook and if Sedona had more affordable housing options it would allow him to live independently and achieve his goals. I'm currently serving 37 homeless students and their families in the school district. Families who work here, who get their kids to school every day, and who deserve to live here in a housing that they can afford. I get to work with the immigrant community here in Sedona, and in talking about affordable housing, they have mentioned so many times how they are looking for programs in sports and things like that for their children after school they simply cannot find or there is not enough funding for. If there was more affordable housing here locally, then there would be more of those programs locally too. Hi, we have a thriving restaurant here in West Sedona, and if we had enough employees, I absolutely could be open six days a week instead of five days a week and be giving them the opportunity to support themselves, better learning, and just have all in all support the community of Sedona better. We've seen firsthand how the increase in short-term rentals has impacted the lack of affordability for housing our employees, as well as families with young children. We feel that we need an increase in affordable workforce housing in order to increase the quality of life in Sedona. Last year, we served 57 families that were homeless. These are people that are servers, they're at your restaurants, they're at your grocery stores, they're your teachers. And why are they homeless? Because they can't afford to live here. These are your friends and these are your family. They deserve a home here. Moving to the Verde Valley and living here has been difficult because when I moved here, I lived in a hotel for two months, couldn't find housing. But thanks to the assistance down payment program, I work in Sedona, live in the Verde Valley, and I was able to push my home to be able to start a family with my lovely wife. Thanks to them, I have a great future. The rising cost of housing is causing seniors to have to make difficult choices between food and medicine. Meals and Wheels can provide the food part of the equation, but that is not the ultimate solution. We need safe, affordable housing in Sedona to allow seniors to live here in dignity and safety.